Do you know Oiran? Oiran was a top yujo or prostitute in the Yoshiwara Yukaku in the Edo period. Yukaku was a traditional wet rite district in Japan. It said Oiran were not only the number one yujo, but also very popular among the common people. Before, we Japanese admired top prostitutes. So today, we'll talk about Oiran. Welcome to the Japan Report. I am Neshida. And today's theme is this. Wait, why didn't you introduce me? I'm a host of two. Ken-san, to be honest, your opening joke is always boring and it's a waste of time. And your English accent is so bad. People cannot understand your weird Japanglish. Your opening jokes are terrible, like your foreplay. Your ideas are so bad, and the way you use your tongue is completely wrong. Meishito san, shut the f up. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ken Suzuki. I'm a comedian and researcher of Japanese history. Today, I'll teach you guys what is oira. Ken-san, you are just reading the script that I wrote. Even though you just read the script, you always mispronounce the words. How can you do that? Meshito-san, you should appreciate me. My comedic skills make your super boring script 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 My comedic skills make your super boring script funny If you want to know about Oiran first, you should know about Yoshiwara. Yoshiwara was the most famous yukaku or red light district in Japan. In 1603, the Tokugawa shogunate moved the capital from Kyoto to Edo or Tokyo. So Edo's population increased rapidly, but Two-thirds of the population were men. Many Yujo moved to Edo and started their business. Then a licensed yukak called Yoshiwara was created in Edo. You could say that almost 300 years before the Netherlands legalized prostitution, Japan made an area for legal prostitution. Believe it or not, in the Edo period, we were very forward thinking. Oiran were ranked top in the Yoshiwara Yukaku. There were many categories of Yujo, and just only a few top Yujo were called Oiran. If a man wanted to engage in Oiran, they also had to pay for their food, sake, and tips. It costs from 3 million to 5 million yen for one night. Wow, Oya were all men's dream women. There were almost 3,000 yujo in Yoshiwara in the heyday, but in the early days, there were only three Oira. The top few Oira earned most of the money in Yoshiwara. They were like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk. Nowadays, technology sells better than sex. If a man wanted to be serviced by an Oira, they needed to meet her at least three times. The first time, you could only meet without talking. The second time, you could have dinner and talk with the oiran. 
The third time, if she accepted you, you could go to a private room with her. Even though men paid a lot, if the Oiran didn't like someone, she refused to sleep with him. I think most of the Japanese women living on a date with must be descended from Oiran. This is like the marriage system at that time. First time meeting, second time engagement, third time marriage. Yes, our marriage system was better than India's. And even 300 years ago, we Japanese men enjoyed role playing in brothels. The same as nowadays, although they have a wife. They prefer role-playing marriage in Yoshiwara or soap land. This rule of three encounter is believed by many Japanese people nowadays. But to be honest, this was not true. Even a high status usual usually provided services from the first time. The reason why this rule of three became famous was once a high status usual refused one customer because she didn't like his behavior. But he never gave up and he designated her three times. Then finally, she accepted him and provided him with service. Even 300 years ago, we Japanese men liked to pay for sex. But nowadays, it must be more than three times. Ken-san always goes back to the same place, but never gets service. Meishida-san, shut the f up. There were many rules in Yoshiwara. If you wanted to be a loyal customer, you had to follow the rules. Otherwise, you couldn't engage upper class usual. After entering the Yoshiwara gate, first, you had to go to the tea house and choose a usual and negotiate the price with the staff. Then, they ordered food and drink and waited until the usual came. Most men ordered a lot of food and drink to show their generosity. As a result, Many men went bankrupt. The most important rule was that once you had chosen a woman and enjoyed yourself together, you couldn't choose another usual. In Yoshiwara, they were not allowed to cheat. If a man cheated on their usual, they had to pay a fine or be punished. The customer has to love just only one usual. The role play of marriage in Yoshiwara was closer to real marriage than actual married life. There was a famous punishment for men who couldn't pay the fee. It was okebuse. They were locked inside a wooden barrel on the street and displayed to passers-by. They had to live there until their family paid their debts. They could get food, but they had to go to the toilet in the barrel. It was a very tough and smelly punishment. Most of usual were taking on the debt of their parents and sold to Yoshiwara when they were kids. So, since they were kids, they learned a lot of things in order to entertain upper class men. For example, waka, Chinese poetry, koto, tea ceremony, calligraphy, shamisen, and traditional board games. So, upper class usual studied hard and they were well educated. Not only in the bed, they also entertained customers using their intelligence. Nowadays, some famous female university students who made it through the fiercely competitive university entrance examinations work in the sex industry to pay their expensive tuition and support their 
parents. They are very popular in the industry as intelligent college students. Our traditions are never forgot. The one of the famous events in Yoshiwara was the Oiran Dochi or Oiran Journey. When an Oiran was requested, she walked to the tea house with her juniors and staff. Many people gathered and watched the Oiran, who was the top of the usual. It was like a fashion show. Oiran fashion influenced girls in Edo. They imitated Oiran's hair and the way they wore kimono. Oiran fascinated not only men, but also women at that time. Instead of supermodels, super prostitutes did the Japanese fashion industry. But it said that as more time passed, Yoshiwara's unique culture began to disappear and the area was becoming more common. Before, Yoshiwara was not the kind of place where you just pay and had a fun. The men tried to act smart and enjoy Yoshiwara's unique culture. For men, Yoshiwara was a dreamland, like Disneyland. But for the usual, Yoshiwara was a prison. Same as Disneyland staff. They have to work under a very bad contrast. It's a small world after all. Tensa, I didn't write that line. I just came up with that. Was it your punchline? <laughs> My punchline is better than yours. Listen. If you want to listen my jokes, please follow my YouTube channel, Ken Suzuki Comedian. My channel is better than this channel. Tora wa yo, Pusang hae.